break everything. We use it like a water boy. Back up, back up. Oh, stop. I gotta get this up. Whoa. Good. Is this new at the show? Yes. So this is our new V5 line. So the hardware that you see, the metal, that has existed for 10 years. Yeah. But everything in the control system is brand new. So we've got a new brain. We have a new vision sensor that can see objects. So like, see that ball? Yeah. In the brain. We've got new smart motors, new battery, new radio. So I'm going to. Up. Is this out now? No, it's not. So this will launch in May. Man, you guys are order in March. You March guys are busy, yeah. That was a program I was running. I wasn't even driving it. I taught it to send for a Red Bull. Now it's going to get lost. So is that a uh, controller block in the middle? Is, it, is that a touch screen? Yes. Full color touch screen. That's the robot ray. Is that new? Yes. We're calling it intelligent so simplicity. So we have an entirely new control system right here. You've got your brain before had no touch screen. Right. It was very hard to understand as a teacher, like what is happening with my robot and how is everything communicating. Now we have a streamlined, like intelligent system that can understand everything. There we go. So, this is the remote. So we also here are launching Vex Coding Studio, which is our entirely new programming environment. The, enti the, the point of it is to have it go from blocks to true text-based and C++ programming and to aid in that transition. Complemented with STEM labs, which is curriculum, and then robots because they're fun. So you can see your code come to life in real life. Um, so within Vex Coding Studio, you have Blocks, which is ModKit, which came out of MIT. So ModKit Blocks. You also have ModKit Text. And the, the best part is that you can toggle back and forth. So if I'm a student and I'm comfortable with Blocks, and I want to start to transition into text-based programming, I can toggle over, see what the Blocks actually read like, edit and then go back to blocks and see how my edits changed and that will ease that transition and that knowledge gap. From there, you'll have Robot C, which is a C++, and then we plan to add on Python, JavaScript, other programming languages as well. And what's the minimum cost to get into a VEX? Uh, pet? So we have a variety, a couple of different platforms. We have a Vex IQ. That's the plastic. Uh huh. And it's all snapped together. No tools required. Still the same coding environment at Vex Coding Studio. Still the same competition opportunities. That entry point is about. It's a lot more affordable. You're looking at you know three hundred dollars. This entry point is for a starter kit in the classroom. Will be around hundred dollars. And then it'll scale up. You can add add-ons. Um, a competition starter kit will start around 700. Okay. And the difference between competition and classroom really comes down to weight because weight matters. So you're talking steel versus aluminum. So let's talk about power. What's the uh, power blocks for these? I noticed that there's a lot of charging going on under the table. So those are just robot batteries that we're charging because we are using these under an extreme case scenario. We're running them for like 12 hours. They yeah. They non-stop. So you've got your robot battery here. And then the remote controls, you barely have to, I mean, these could run for a couple of weeks. It totally depends on usage case. But um, you've got motors here. So it depends on how many motors So these are lithium ion batteries that you snap in when you need them. Yes. It's a battery. The exact form I'll have to get from a press kit. Like the exact. Okay. But you re these are rechargeable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, good. Awesome. What's this called? This is the VEX EDR V5 system. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.